Well, here we are at last. Just you, me, and the 2020 Land Rover Defender. Back in January, we introduced the Defender at the DC Auto Show, and we did a quick car show video just for you guys, remember? Well, now at last, we can finally do a full hands-on review for you. <laughs> the introduction of the new Defender is cause for celebration, though because the Defender is a landmark vehicle for Land Rover and has an over 70 year heritage filled with fond memories from the rugged off-road enthusiasts and sad memories from the crash test failures that ceased the importation of the vehicle into the United States years ago. But now the Defender is back and is full of surprises. It has a bold, unbelievably modern exterior styling with a touch of luxury and technology thrown in for good measure. But what's important to note is that this elegant SUV can not only take you anywhere around town in comfort and style, but also has the traditional Land Rover go anywhere capabilities that they're famous for. Now everyone knows that the Defender comes in two models, the Defender 90, which is the two door version and the Defender 110 four door version that we have here today in the first edition trim level. Both come with a variety of trim levels and price points. For example, with the 110, you have the 110 at $50,925 base. And well, just read the screen. They're all there. Go ahead, take your time. I'll wait. All right, so the Defender doesn't come cheap, but good things seldom do. The Defender offers for 2020 two engine choices here in the States. The P300 two-liter four-cylinder 16-valve dual overhead cam turbocharged engine that generates 296 horsepower, 295 pound-feet of torque. Goes from zero to 60, 7.7. .7. Or you can choose the P400 three-liter 24-valve dual overhead cam inline six-cylinder that's both turbocharged and supercharged with a 48-volt hybrid assist system to help produce 395 horsepower, 406 pound-feet of torque. Zero to 60 in about 5.8 seconds. And both engines come with the eight-speed ZF automatic transmission with sport shift. Now, unlike the old Defender, the new 2020 is built on a unitized body construction, which is both lighter and stronger than the traditional body on chassis truck frame. The Defender comes with 8.6 inches of standard ground clearance. And with the adjustable air suspension system, you can raise that up to 11 0.5 inches. And now you've got that much clearance as needed, but when you couple it with the Wade sensing feature, this allows the Defender to handle up to 35.4 inches of wading depth, which is right about there. You can obviously lower the vehicle height as well for ease of access and better fuel efficiency. The Defender is full-time all-wheel drive and can send up to 100% of the torque to either axle as needed. And it also comes with the electronic traction control and the twin-speed transfer case that provides serious lower gears for handling all sorts of incredible terrain challenges. Plus, there's also available electronic active rear differential, sending torque left or right as needed. That's why this thing can crawl over just about any type of terrain especially with its adjustable train response system and response system two, which can be set for an auto setting, sand setting, grass, gravel, snow setting, mud and ruts, rock crawl, and there's even a comfort setting, which I love. There's also the all-terrain progress control and adaptive dynamic system, which monitors the road and driver inputs to provide the best ride possible. Plus you have the hill descent control and a ton of other cool features to make you feel like you are king of the road. You also have a choice of rim sizes from 18, 19, 20, all the way up to 22 inches. As far as cargo space and seating are concerned, the four-door 110 comes standard as a five-seater, but you could add a jump seat up front to make it a six-seater, or get a third row back here to make it a five plus two. Now, I'm sure there must be a logical reason why you can't get the jump seat up front as well as the back third row seats together to make it an eight-seater. 
Uh huh. Well, anyway, uh, if you have any ideas why that might be, please uh, feel free to comment below. We'd love to hear from you. And as far as cargo carrying capacity is concerned, that depends on the type of seating you get. If you have the five plus two seater behind the third row, you get 10.7 cubic feet. With that back seat down, you get 35 cubic feet, as well as with all those seats down, you get up to 69 to 79 cubic feet. Again, depending on whether it's a five seater or a five plus two seater. Well, anyway, with the shorter wheelbase Defender 90, the two door gets almost 16 cubic feet with the back seat up. And with that row down, you get 59 cubic feet. So let's just say you've got plenty of cargo space inside and even more stuff that you can carry on the outside. Let's check it out. For example, if you had something really small you wanted to tuck away, you could probably stick it right in there in your uh, fuel filler door. And no, I, I don't recommend that at all. What's better though, is you can get this side locking cabinet right here that is waterproof and you can hold about one point something worth of cargo back there, which is kind of neat. You can even store more on top with your Expedition roof rack on top of your roof rails and properly equipped, it can even tow up to 8,200 pounds. You also have four really cool accessory packages to choose from. For example, you could get the Explorer Pack, the Adventure Pack, y'all can get the Country Pack, and there's also the uh, Urban Pack. Plus, Land Rover offers you a ton of accessories to personalize the vehicle with, such as an inflatable uh, rear awning that's also waterproof. You have a deployable side ladder to help you get to your cargo on top, a hard shell tent that'll actually fit up there. You also have fixed side rails and bright tubes, your mud flaps. You've got additional treatments for the vehicle, such as around your wheel wells and the front end, the different types of materials you have on the hood, such as right here, the flat black decal up top. And in the front, you can also get a winch that can handle up to 10,000 pounds from 147 feet away, as well as additional undercarriage supports to make this the most serious off-roader you've ever driven or ever owned. And while we're up front, well, let's talk about the exterior styling just a little bit. You can tell that the front has a menacing look, especially with this full LED headlight system in the front as well as the LEDs in the back. They really make this vehicle stand out. And as you come around the side, you can see that it has a bold, sophisticated exterior stance that, that just makes it stand out from the crowd. And that's what's great about the Defender. Plus, as you come down from end to end, you can see the horizontal line that's continued from the exterior that just gives it that, 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 that straightforward look much better than a lot of these other fancy, swervy, wervy kind of styles out there nowadays. But if you think the outside looks hot, check the inside. It's amazing. The back seats are just as spacious as the front seats, especially for me because I'm about uh, so, 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 so tall and I still have plenty of headroom. Matter of fact, you could put a head on top of my head. <laughs> and <laughs> you have these uh, great Alpine lights here, a throwback from the earlier Defenders, this magnificent, uh, expansive moonroof up top. Plus you have the interior grips, again, it's more grippage grippage everywhere in this vehicle. A five volt USB behind the passenger and the driver's seat. Sculpted back seat air here for the storage area. Ba-bam, ba-bam. Plenty of room and this is where this shines. This is a, a fantastic all wheel drive vehicle and yet the passenger in the center still is comfortable. Plenty of flat-ish floor space and it's a reasonably sized seat. Dare I say it, obligatory cup holders, ta-da. And if you wanna drop your headrest just for a little bit better visibility, there you go. Plus you have your 40, 20, 40 split folding seat. So that gives you convenience for storage as well as passengers. And there's not, uh, well, there's a cup holder, bottle holder on either side. And again, that's about it. But you do have the 12 volt on each exterior end, as well as two USBs in the center, plus your tri-zone air conditioning. So this is a nice place to hang out. I wouldn't say it was a great place to hang out if you're going you know, uh, up a mountain, maybe for days at a time, but for around town and uh, 
decent trips, you know, like that. Yeah, be great. The interior of the Defender is pure functionality, simplicity, and ruggedness. And you can see that from the moment you get in the vehicle, everything is laid out just easily accessible from the driver or the passenger with your 10 inch Pivi Pro infotainment touchscreen, for example, with you have your, your scroll up and down, you have your couch, your seating controls, climate controls, trailering adjustments, you have 360 cameras on this, so I can see what's around me all around, back and forth. You can come back to the screen and you can check out your eco data, how well you're getting your fuel efficiency, your uh, voice command controls, also with your weight sensing like we talked about earlier. You're gonna go in, it'll tell you how much water you've you know, basically submerged your vehicle in. And if you wanna adjust the different drive modes as far as the vehicle is concerned, you have eco, you have your comfort mode, then you also have, let's go back here, come on, comfort mode, you have your off-roading, your mud and rut, and all of that is just easily accessible anytime you want. Low traction control, vehicle dimensions, everything you have is just laid out pure and simple. You have USB connectivity front as well as rear. You also have your 12.3 inch digital interface display dead center. And of course you can uh, go all the way down and check your navigation and decide where you wanna go, how you wanna get there. It's very intuitive, very nicely laid out. You gotta check it out. You wanna take it for a spin? Why don't we? What an absolutely gorgeous day. Gorgeous, gorgeous day to be cruising around in a 2020 Land Rover Defender. This machine really grows on you. It really does. Now, as far as acceleration is concerned, <laughs> that zero to 60 is in 5.8 seconds with the six cylinder and the four cylinder has the 7.7 and it does come in handy. One of the cool features that I really love about this vehicle is you have the, the clear sight ground view feature, which basically says you've got your 360 cameras around there, and when you uh, initiate that, that option that you can actually have a clear view of what's underneath your, your vehicle if you're you know, going over rough terrain, rocks and boulders, things of that nature. But you also have it for your daily driving with your clear sight rear view, or you can flip this if your back visibility is blocked. Now I can see utilizing the cameras, and that's one of the features I bet most people will fall in love with. It's absolutely amazing. The view out front is just expansive, and of course your side mirrors definitely help. The view out back isn't bad, but I would definitely turn that uh, headrest down just to give you a little extra visibility, but even then you still have that uh, spare tire attached to the back. But, oh well, it is what it is. If you haven't had a chance to take a ride in the Defender yet, you really need to, because it's from the inside that you feel the massive size and strength of this vehicle. And it gives you the performance capabilities when you need them, especially with a six cylinder. And when you sit so high like you do and feel the power beneath you know, your feet and, and just the strength of this machine, it's, it's just, it's very cool. You definitely have to experience it for yourself. It's just, you feel rugged on the inside. You feel like it's manly and I like that, the grip. Yeah, they nicely position the eight-speed automatic transmission shifter up high, giving you a lot more interior stowage space down here. All of it rubberized, of course, for heavy-duty wear and tear. You have the dual cup holders. You have a, a phone charger. Ba-boom. Center console. You could have storage, or I have a cool box, which is really cool. Lots of storage areas, nooks and crannies here on the front dash, on the left side of the steering wheel for the driver on the right side for the driver and the passenger all the way down the side. There's power USB 
source right there for the passenger. There's a couple more, the regular C, the regular USB, another power source, 12 volt here. Um, well, I got my cool box there. You don't need a store or a power source. As well as your usual controls for your windows and locks and memory seating and your power adjustable seats. And these seats, very comfortable. They, they don't have the tightest bolstering all on the sides, but I think that adds to the comfort of the vehicle for your day-to-day -day driving. As far as stereo systems are concerned, you have your standard six speaker, 180 watt uh, sound system. Then you step up to the Meridian 10 speaker, 400 watt sound system with subwoofer, very nice. And you can even bump that up to a 14 speaker, 700 watt Meridian with subwoofer. And it's, I love my sound systems and you will too, especially when you have a larger vehicle like this. There's so much interior space for passengers. You've got plenty of room for two up here. If you had your jump seat, you could have three, as well as the three in the back, plenty of room there. And even the five plus two, two in the way back. I mean, you just need sound to fill all of that area. Oh, by the way, the stereo is Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capable. And you do have your integrated Wi-Fi hotspot as well. Can't live without that got to have your Wi-Fi. And you also have your dual zone air conditioning here, tri-zone over there, and you know, even air vents in the very, very far back should you have those passengers. Land Rover did a nice job when they designed this. It's very simplistic and yet practical all the way around. You also have the massive moonroof up top, and that does have a vent to it, which is great if you don't want to open up the whole thing, as well as a shade if you want to block everything off. And speaking of blocking things off, I've got a visor. Yay, no big deal. But now look, I've got a little baby visor. I've got a baby visor right here in the center. And I've got, we'll call it mommy and daddy and little baby visor. <laughs> anyway, the steering is light and controlled. And that's the way I like it. Bam, bam, get those visors out of the way. And the eight-speed automatic transmission has the uh, sport shift feature to it as well. No paddle shifters here. We don't need them right now. Sorry, I had to merge. And you need power to do that. And this vehicle has it. There's not a lot of exterior road noise. You know, not a, wind, a lot of wind noise. It's a very acoustic interior, which is great. You've got a little rumble, obviously, the larger the tread, the more you're going to hear, but you need that if you're going to be taking this off-road. But nonetheless, this still makes it a comfortable daily driver as well. And you have all of that useful cargo space in the back, which is excellent. The 2020 Land Rover Defender has been reborn in so many ways since it was first introduced back in 1948. The more you drive this vehicle, the more you appreciate it, both inside and out. The exterior styling, I have to admit, was a, a, a bit much when I first saw it. But yet, the more I look at this vehicle, and especially compared to other vehicles, just park it in a parking lot, it stands out, and it stands out in a good way. It is something to behold. If you've ever taken one of these vehicles off-road, and really put it to the test, you know that uh, it, it can go anywhere and do anything. And that's the kind of versatility the, the Defender offers you. The new Defender is not the old Defender. It's something more. Hey, where have I heard that before? Huh. The new Defender is not the old Defender. It's something more. On road, or off-road, the Defender delivers. Check it out. Well, we really want to thank you for, you know, taking the time to Join us as we look at the 2020 Defender. We hope you enjoyed what you saw. And above all else, to all of our subscribers and to our viewers, we hope you stay safe, stay tuned, and subscribe.